I guess I want to start with just takeaways from the exhibition earlier this week. Yeah, you know, I thought that um, we were able to take a lot of positives away. It's always good to put the jersey on and the lights, the real lights are on. It's hard to simulate that environment in practice, so I think it gave our team a real game-like environment. I thought you saw a few jitters and a little bit of nervousness, but definitely a lot that we can work on. The biggest room right now for improvements, um, you know, and it's, it's just a great opportunity for us to see a real game-like environment. Uh, looking to the winter, you're competing in two tournaments, the Betty Chancellor and the ACC-SEC matchup. What are you looking forward to in those? Um, just the level of competition, obviously. Um, you know, we're only worried about our next game, and that's Monday against Alabama State. But I feel like we've put together a preseason schedule, you know, that will be able to impact our postseason hopes. Obviously, taking care of the business with each and every game is important. Um, those are going to be high-level, um, you know, NCAA tournament teams we're playing, and we're excited for that challenge. Mm -hmm. You, uh, what ultimate goal that you hope to accomplish through the preseason? You know, just continue to get better every day. You know, be 1% better today than we were yesterday. Um, just relentless work ethic and grit and just um, understanding, you know, that it's about being committed to doing the little things. Um, this group has so much potential and they're a fun group to coach. And um, But we have to understand that every detail matters. So it's the little things in the details right now that we need to pay more attention to. Uh, three freshmen on the roster this year, three talented freshmen. What, uh, what, what have you seen from them so far, and what, what do you like about what you've seen? Yeah, I mean, you know, we have three freshmen and three other transfers, so half of our team are new faces. I think our older group has done a great job of leading them. They're extremely talented. They just need game experience. So it's here. You know, it's the most wonderful time of year for us. So anytime the ball really actually starts playing and it's tipped up, um, it's just a good thing for us, and that's that's all that's left for this team to experience this game experience. You had a lot of seniors on the team last year that have been with you for a while. Um, tell me a little bit about like the leadership of this team and who has stepped up you've really seen throughout this preseason. We did. We had great leaders a year ago, um, a phenomenal group that had been with us with their COVID year, um, you know, and Hannah and Brittany and Meg and Jada and it's been so fun to see, you know, our leaders emerge this season with Sarah Ashley and Aaliyah, you know, and um, Loyal. It's it's a really good group, and I think they took a lot away. But I think it's also always important as a leader to have your own style, you know, and um, the things that they know that they can be for our team with their voice, with their actions, and just they've impacted us so much here in the summer and preseason. And I feel confident that, you know, the legacy they – they want to be about from a leadership standpoint is, you know, embracing the opportunity this year to be leaders. Uh, you made some promotions and you brought in some new faces uh, to your staff during the off season. Can you talk about those changes and the new coaching dynamic you have? Yeah, I mean, it's been amazing. You know, Tennille Adams competed in the SEC. She has such a positive voice with our three um, five players. It's been unbelievable to watch her continue to work with them daily whether it's in the film room, whether it's spending time with them off the floor to develop a relationship, and then on the court. And I think when you can say I played in the SEC, I went to a Final Four as part of an SEC team, I think that adds value to your message every day. So she's done a really good job with that. And then, you know, to promote Roman Tubner, it's, it's really great. He's done a phenomenal job in recruiting. And, you know, we're excited for the impact that he has had not only in recruiting, but also on the floor and giving him more on court responsibilities this season. So, you know, excited about our entire staff and um, they're all just such high energy. And the thing I think they bring so much about, it's not about them, it's about how can we each and every day impact these young people and they do a really good job of being selfless and about the front of their chest. The three transfers, have you seen them acclimate since they've been here? Awesome, you know, they really come from high level teams and they've had some great experience and you know um, obviously they're all here for different reasons and it's their time now and they're excited and they've really embraced our culture. Um, I think when you hit the transfer portal it's not only do I go get the most talented player but do you find culture culture players that are part of what you're about and all three of them are really really a great fit for our culture as people. Going back to the exhibition on Wednesday Everyone was able to get on the box score. What does that kind of do for the team morale as you end this part of the season, kind of getting everyone involved, um, how that helps you as you go down the road, as people stay prepared? Yeah, you know, I think game experience. So to put all of them in that position to see how they're going to respond, that's not always going to be the case. It's hard to play 11 people at this level. But I thought it was good for each and every one of them. We were able to see some different combinations and 
see them in a game environment. And um, there's nothing I can simulate like that in practice. There like a you know, like a list of goals or things that you're hoping to accomplish here through the first few games this season. Just get better each and every day. Um, you know, I think it, it's not to focus on what we aren't doing well, but focus on what we can do and find the positives and just build on those. Uh, can you talk about Monday's matchup against Alabama State? Maybe what yeah. you're looking for and expecting to see. Well, we know that they're so well coached. I mean, um, you know, and at the end of the day, it's going to come down to us having the ability to control the transition game and uh, limit their easy opportunities in transition and then to limit, you know, the ball from getting to the paint. It's really important that we guard dribble penetration on Monday night. And then third, we have to limit our turnovers. They're going to pressure us. We understand who they are from a system and style. and. Mm -hmm. You know, turnovers lead to easy baskets, so it's keeping the ball out of the paint and making sure we, we limit their easy baskets. Um, but we're excited for the opportunity and just to tip off the season officially.